I feel a type of way Yeah, I don't know about the real side of the story Can't live if it is what it is If I lose it right now Cultural differences in parenting Brazil versus the UK <laughs> Oi galera, tudo bem now? Today, ai meu Deus, today we're here with a video called Nine Cultural Differences in Parenting UK versus Brazil, Brazil, blah, 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 whatever. Now, this is very, very interesting because we did react to a video about Brazilian mothers before. And I want to see this girl's perspective of the differences between Brazilian parenting and the UK parenting. Because I think it's going to be pretty different. I think it will be pretty different, bro. So, yo, I'm muito interessant. In, in, I'm very interested, bro. So, yo, <laughs> let's get into uh, this reaction. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to it's talk the about cultural differences in parenting between okay. Brazil and the UK, which Brazil, are the two baby. countries that I know fairly well. I was born yeah. in Brazil, I was raised there for 23 years, and I've been living in the UK now for 10 years, and I have two children here. Damn. So I've kind of seen both countries from different perspectives. I Aww. was a child raised in Brazil, and now I am raising children here in the UK. And I wanted to talk about a few cultural differences that I've... You know what? I just realized you guys can't read. I need to turn on the subtitles. I've noticed since having my own children. <laughs> I'd love for you guys to comment below with some I cultural differences deuce. from your own countries or from, from the countries where you live now. And just tell me if you okay. think they're more similar to the UK, similar to Brazil. I'm just interested to see what she says, what's different, both bro. Of these cultures. I've done a few of these cultural differences videos in interested. the past. I'll leave them linked below. I've done one talking about the differences between British and Brazilian people in general, and then another one talking about the difference Ooh, I between watch that. Brazil and the UK as a country okay. in general as well. And yeah, so watch those if you want to see more cultural differences. If okay, you're not girl. already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you here. So please do hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And now yeah. let's get straight into the... Sadly, I can't like your video because I'm watching it on Google Drive, but you know, that visuals. <laughs> Lorena! Hi, Lorena! I just wanted to start by saying that culture is generally something really difficult to talk about and to discuss, isn't it? Because I'm always worried about offending isn't it? other people and saying something that. Bro, I just want to say she speaks very, very um, good. <laughs> Not that like I, most people in the UK don't speak this well uh, when she said isn't it normally people would say in it in it It is in it in it. I mean the discuss isn't it because I'm always worried about offending isn't it? other people and saying okay, something girl. that might not be correct in someone's it's culture okay, don't worry. Might not it's okay. be acceptable it's okay. it's in okay. someone's culture Alicia. So these videos are more for like general knowledge information purposes Okay, not me saying that one culture does something better than the other or that one way is the correct way and the other way is the yeah. wrong way yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. not yeah. about yeah. that at all. This is just my experience I know a lot of you who watch me are British people who might not know about the Brazilian side of the Hi. culture and a lo uh, also a lot of you watching me are Brazilians Come on, girl. Or people from all over the world <laughs> who might be interested to know about British culture so hopefully you guys can kind of understand where I'm coming from with all of these not that anything is really controversial but I just wanted to say that because in a couple of my videos before sure. a few people have kind of taken sides and, and thought that I was actually it's fine girl don't you worry I'm just here to see your differences so let's Hello, just get straight in with the first cultural difference let's the go the first thing that I noticed that's very different between Brazilians and British people is bedtime for children I noticed that when I went oh. to Brazil with my children and most children that were my children's age which is oh between... wait actually I think this is because I think you guys in Brazil, I mean, she's probably going to say in a minute, but I'm pretty sure in Brazil you eat dinner a lot later than what we do in the UK. Like, we eat dinner literally like 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock's like probably late, actually. I believe in Brazil you guys eat dinner a lot later. In one and three, we're going to bed much later than my children. 
I think here in the UK there is kind of like a general bedtime which is 7 p.m. I would say even earlier than that for younger children. My children go to bed at 6 o'clock. Between 6 and 7 p.m. they will Wait. be in bed unless something is not going Six. to plan. But that is kind of like the general Bro. rule of bedtime in the UK. I think when I was younger, I always used to go to bed at 7 actually. And then I remember I, as I got a year older, the hour went up like by half an hour. <laughs> Uh, but bro, seven is she is right. That is like for children. That is like the the standard like normal uh, time children normally go to bed here. Seven p.m. UK, and I found in Brazil children were going to bed between eight nine p.m. or even later than that. I don't know why that is. I just find that for my children, they can't stay awake past seven, eight o'clock ish. Yeah. Like the latest that they will be absolutely desperate to be asleep. It's a natural bedtime thing for my children, but I just find that generally here in the UK, kids go to bed kind of much earlier than in Brazil. So if you know why this happens. Or is, it, is, it, is it because you guys, I, I swear in Brazil, you guys eat dinner later than us. I, I don't know. I, do, I actually don't know. But yeah, she, that is true. But damn, so children are going to bed at like 9 p.m. Holy moly. She is right here. It is typically between six to seven. Well, six to eight. Normally seven for like kids. But I, meu Deus. Okay. Okay. Kind of much earlier than in Brazil. So if you know why this happens or if you have any insight as to why this might happen, please comment below and tell me what is a generally an acceptable bedtime for children between the age of zero and eight in your country. 7 p.m. How do you do it? The second cultural difference is school hours. So in Brazil. Oh, 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 I know about this. And I, meu Deus, Brazilians go to school very early. Muito, muito early in the morning, bro. Um, but what was I saying? I can't remember. So, right, right, so like eight-year-olds in Brazil go to bed at 9 p.m. Is that correct? Is that correct? Let me know. That's, that's late. That's late for a little dude. That's late for a little kid. I don't know. Let me know. Brazil, school hours are either morning or afternoon session. When you get to university and college and things like that, then you have evening sessions as well. But here in the UK, a school session. See, is that is very interesting. In muito, muito interessante. So at school, you can either go to school from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Wow! That's really cool. I would always 100% choose 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. I am not going to be at school for 7 a.m., bro. Absolutely not. I could, I'm sorry, bro. If you went to school at 7 a.m. in Brazil, well done. That is impressive. That is really impressive. I, you, well done, because I honestly couldn't do that, bro. Me, when I went to school, getting up at, for 9 a.m., I could only just do that, bro. I could only just do that. So get in there for 7 a.m.? Holy moly! Jesus. Morning and 3 o'clock in the afternoon or quarter past 3, just a little bit after 3, which to me was completely insane to get used to. Um, I was used to a 7 o'clock in the morning to midday yep. or a 1 o'clock in the afternoon to 5 p.m. session. The UK is always 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. There's no other option. Or it's not, it's not, some schools don't end at 3 p.m. It's usually like, maybe like 2.55, 3, 3.15, half 3, half 2. It's always like around there they finish. And, but everyone, I'm pretty sure everyone, every school starts at 9 a.m. Literally every school. Um, but uh, yeah, I meu Deus. And these were the two sessions that you could get your school hours in. And throughout my whole life, I went to school in these school hours. 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. My uh, oh. university degree, everything. No, there, thanks. School hours were always like that. That is crazy. So when I came here and my son has just started school, and school hours are 9 to 3, it just does not make sense at all to me. It feels <laughs> all very kind of... I mean, to be fair... If I were, if you went to school between 7 a.m. to 12 p.m., you would have the rest of the day. But then you'd probably be absolutely tired. You'd be so tired. Let me know, like, people who went to school in Brazil, 
Did you, what, like, when did you go? Did you go at 7 a.m. in the morning? Did you do that? Did you like it? Was it, was it good? I don't see how. <laughs> I, 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 as you've probably gathered by now, I'm not a morning person, okay? I don't like the morning. I, I, I don't like getting up. <laughs> kind of middle of the day-ish. It's not morning, it's not afternoon. You're just kind of in the middle of the day. Now, my yeah, shoulder girl. just clicked. Oh, we have your shoulder. Of, like theories or thoughts ah. as to why that is here. I feel like Ooh. because the working hours in the UK for parents are usually nine to five, it makes more sense for the kids to be in school for the majority of time that the parents are in work. I think the thing with cultural differences is when you're living your culture, you don't think of it as it being different. It's only when you move to another country Verdaggi. that you're made aware of these differences because Verdaggi. culture is basically the way you live, <laughs> is the way that you, you know, that you know things, the way that you do things. That is and true. If you grow up with something, it's like you don't know any different. So you just think that like, you just think that's normal. You don't know any different. If you just grow up with one thing, you don't know anything different. So that's that's you just think that's what it is, bro. But yo, it is muito 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 diferente, bro. Uh, Brazil, 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 and the UK. It's actually very different with these things. Like the school, for example, that's super duper different. The 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 time children go to bed. I meu Deus. It's different, bro. Only aware of that when you notice that people do it differently to you. And that's True. just Verdade. when I moved here to the UK, that's when I noticed these differences yeah, that to me were just life. They were just normal things. And then you come to a different country and things are done ever so slightly different or very, very differently. Next cultural difference is birthday parties. Brazilian birthday parties, they are huge, especially for children, but for any age, uh, they are absolutely huge. They go all out. A birthday no. party for a child in Brazil is, I would say, um, equivalent to- Sorry, this is a freaking wedding. This is literally a wedding. A wedding reception. Okay, me and this girl are twins, apparently, bro. We just had the Zach set. We're literally, who are you? Are we twins, bro? bro. It is, that is, they have a freaking wedding cake. That's a wedding cake at a birthday. Bro. <laughs> a birthday party for a child in Brazil is, I would say, equivalent to a wedding reception here. And the yes, budget, the amount does. of money you spend would be around about the same. You have tiered cakes, you have the whole like, room decoration you hire a venue we've got balloons you've got everything that you can possibly imagine obviously if you can afford it not everybody can afford that but i feel like even if you can't afford it there's a lot of emphasis put what? on birthdays in brazil and birthday parties. bro birthdays here i mean i mean birthdays here literally once you're past like 12 then you don't really even like i don't know but like for like young children Maybe like a birthday is you go to like a freaking, I don't know, like a theme park or something. And, and then that's it. Or you go for a meal. But yeah, Brazil. I mean, I would expect Brazil to do stuff like this because Brazil seems to just do everything like better, basically. Basically, bro. Like, look at that. Like, if, if, if I was a little, if like six-year-old me had a birthday like that, Bro, you don't even know how happy I would be, bro. I mil deus. I would be the happiest kid on earth. Even if you can't afford it, there's a lot of emphasis put on birthdays in Brazil and birthday parties. As over here, I feel like you can have birthday parties for children here in your house with just your family unit or grandparents and uncles and aunties and that would be absolutely okay. No one would feel like they should have been invited yeah. to the party. Like, the neighbours would feel... You know, upset. If they I mean, anything. even this for me is over. Like, this is even. This is more than I would do for my birthday, bro. Like, or have done. Like already, this, bro. Mil deus. Mil. It's actually my birthday tomorrow. I just realised that. It's actually my birthday tomorrow on Sunday. 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 How do I say Sunday in Portuguese? I don't actually know. I don't know. But yeah, it's my birthday tomorrow. I just remembered. <laughs> In Brazil, they would they would definitely feel upset if they weren't invited. Another cultural difference is when it comes to celebrating the first year of your baby's life. 
So in Brazil, there's something really popular nowadays called a month anniversary. This was not a thing when I was growing up. Uh, who and I did not have a party for every month of my life until I turned one. But now that's totally a thing in Brazil. And most people I know will throw like mini parties every month until the baby turns one, which sounds amazing. You know, you kind of get... A month anniversary. Oh my god, I, we need to bring this to the we need to bring this to the UK. Babies get a party every month until they're one. Or you have a celebration. That's pretty cool. I'm you do cake, you get nibbles and food, and you have guests over and you sing happy every birthday month. to the baby every month on the day of your baby's birth until they turn one and then you have your big birthday bash when they turn one so it's kind of like a big deal to to be born in brazil because we just celebrate a lot of you know a person's every life month. you can hire like month anniversary planners Jesus. so someone will actually plan the whole year of your baby's life in terms of the parties and the themes to kind of follow with the months and what's happening each month and yeah it's like insanely crazy over the top but amazing to have all these memories to look back on and here in the uk i don't think there's such a thing if anything there's nothing <laughs> in the uk we have absolutely nothing like that bro bro we need to we need to learn from brazil bro i, I wanted to have a memory of having a freaking party every month bro <laughs> You probably take a photo of your baby and say, oh, you're, you're one month old today with a little milestone card next to it saying you're two months old today. So, yeah, I think that's the most I've seen here. I've not seen someone <laughs> celebrating month anniversaries like in Bro. Brazil here. Another big cultural difference. <laughs> this just makes the UK look boring. <laughs> it just makes the UK look boring, bro. <laughs> the freaking birthday party thing. Brazil was better. It had way more cool stuff. This freaking baby thing. We don't even do anything. <laughs> I knew, Deus. This is funny, bro. ...is the way that children call other people that are not their parents oh, or grandparents or, you know, yeah, like someone who's I not know about a family this one. member. So in Brazil, everyone is an uncle or an auntie. Um, so if you have a close friend and your close friend comes to visit, you'd say this is, you know, Uncle Paul. Or what? Primary school teachers are aunt and uncle. Secondary and above are called by their first names. Family friends are also often referred to as uncle or aunt. Is that actually real? Do you got is that real? <gasps> no way. I knew deals. What the frick? Uncle and I'm an uncle now, actually. An uncle, you're an uncle here if your sibling has a kid. Then you're an uncle or an auntie. That's what that is here. Like, I just become an uncle because my sister just had a baby. As you probably, you guys probably know, Tiago. But, what? So I would call... Uh, or what? Auntie Sarah, and they're not your uncle and auntie, but you call them uncle and auntie. So, mummy and daddy's close friends will all be uncle and aunties. So, you will have lots of uncles and aunties in Brazil, and until you grow up old enough Basically to, know, everyone. to differentiate who's who, you'll think that everybody is related to you. As over here, I think people are a lot more formal. Also, in school environment, your teachers are also yes. uncles and aunties when you're little. Obviously, when you grow a bit older, they're not uncles bro. and aunties, but you call them by their first name. As here in the UK, your teachers, your teachers bro, are bro, bro. Miss, Mrs. In the UK, in the UK, if you call your teacher by their first name, bro, 
it's a, it, it, it's ciao amigo for you. It is ciao amigo for you. You can't be doing that in the UK. Please, if you're Brazilian and you move to the UK and you're still in school, do not call teachers by their first name. They will have a literal mental breakdown, okay? You cannot do it. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. They just don't like it. They say it's rude. It's rude to use their name, apparently, bro. I don't know. It, it, it's just the rules. Welcome to the UK, people. I meal deals. Yeah, it's it's Mr. Mrs. Ms. and that's it. <laughs> Mr. and it, when you grow older, they still continue to be Miss, Mrs. and Mr. You call them by their surname. Um, so that's very, very different for me, and I find it quite strange. I'm getting. It is strange. Don't worry, girl. You're not offending anyone. It is strange. I don't know why we do that. And if, it, if, you, if, if you do it, the teachers start crying. I don't know why. I'm used to it now, but in the beginning, I found it really strange to say something like, Mrs. You know, Mrs. Doubtfire is my teacher. And in Brazil, it is weird. we'd probably say, you know, Dora is my teacher. You know, not Mrs. I, I, something. Yeah. Um, so that's the same with being an uncle and an auntie. It's kind of a very informal relationship with people you are close to, people you know, and everybody is your uncle or your auntie. Another cultural difference is the time of the day where parents bath or shower their children. So in Brazil, it's more common to shower or bath your kids in the morning, and here in the UK, it's more common in the evening or late afternoon, just before bedtime. And that was something that my parents, my mum and my, my sister, my siblings, found it funny or, or unusual that I bath my kids at bedtime here, because over there, everyone they know bath their kids at kind of morning time. And talking about bathing and shower... Oh... Having a bath in the morning... I don't know how I feel about that. Having a bath in the morning. Bath, 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 bath. However I want to say it. Sometimes I say bath. Sometimes I say bath. But having a bath. Bath? No, that sounds too posh. Bath. Bath. Having a bath in the morning. What? Yeah, I, 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 I'm for sure. When I was a kid, I never had a bath in the morning, bro. Never. Never, 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 never. Over there, no one will... But almost no one has a bath at home. It's not common to have a bath in your house in Brazil unless you have a lot of money really? to buy a bath because it's expensive. So everyone wow. there has showers. And when you have small babies, you have like little bathtubs or, you know, you buy those baby bath and baths and stuff. But then when your baby is old enough, they will... I think here, literally, I think a bath here is just a a normal like thing that every house has like usually in most houses it's actually in my house actually you have the bath um and then like the shower it's like it's like uh, like like so you stand in the bath as well if you have a shower so like the bath's here and then your shower's on the wall here so you stand in the bath so the the bath can be used as a shower or a bath that's how most houses are in the uk we we'll only have showers as here in the UK, most households will have a bath. It's a very common thing to have. It's not a luxurious item in your house. Very it's common. Just a household item to have a bath. So my kids have mostly. I'd actually say I think literally every single house in the UK has a bath, unless it's been taken out for some reason. Like I think every house is built with a bath. I'm not even joking. Like, I think every, it's, it's just a normal... It's like, it's, as you should said, it's not like a luxury here. It is just a normal thing that houses are meant to have. That's very interesting that you guys don't really have them. Not every house in Brazil has them. Even though, I will be honest with you, I, I always have a shower, bro. I very rarely have a bath. I don't like baths. I find it weird. They baths here, but they also have showers. So yeah, the time of the day is slightly different. And also the fact that Brazilians don't usually have baths in their house. Another difference is snacking. So this one might be a little bit more personal than cultural, but I feel like there is a lot of that where I'm from in Brazil. I'm not sure about other parts in Brazil. So Snack, in Brazil, snacking mean? for children is not very common at all. What does snacking I don't, mean? I don't think, if I remember, I don't think I grew up having snacks. I had my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner. Oh. And you know, if I was peckish, I would ask for extra food throughout the day, or I would be given like extra I food. But I wasn't. It was never expected to have food in between my meals. So 
Here in the UK is slightly different in that you have for kids have snacks all day long. So you have your breakfast, then you have your snack, then your lunch, then your snack, and then your dinner. And that's considered quite normal. It's not excessive at all. And the snacks don't have to be like huge things here. You know, you could give them like a banana or you know anything. I small. guess. Um, but it's a thing. Snacks here are a thing. And when I grew up in Brazil, snacks were not a thing. They were treats, and they were things that you'd get if you were to a friend went to a friend's house or. If you were really good, you get an extra snack. I don't know about this really one. Hungry, you would ask for one. So yeah, let me know if you're from Brazil and you grew up as a child having snacks throughout the day, or if, if, if that's even a cultural thing, or if that's just me growing up in my family in Brazil. The next big cultural difference is the definition of family here in the UK. Definition of family. So if you ask anyone in Brazil, who is your family? If you ask a child, because we're talking about parenting, if you ask a young child, who is your family? Quem eu sou a family, familia, family, familia, familia. Ah, meu, eu não falo português. Eu não falo inglês. Eu não falo. Eu falo sons do Alfi. Family. <laughs> they would say if they have siblings, they'd say my mum, my dad, my brother, or my sister, my aunties, my uncles, my grandma, my grandpa, and that's my family. Here in the UK, I think the answer Family, mum, dad, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, cousins, grandparents, great-grandparents. It would be my mum, my dad, my brother, and my sister. And that's your nuclear family, which is your family here, as in Brazil. I mean, not really. I mean, I mean that's your... Your mum, your dad, your brothers or sisters is your, like, close family. Like, because you probably live with those people. Like, that's your close, close family, but the rest is still, like, close. I don't... I'm not sure what she means by this one. Your extended family is your family. So that oh. is a lot more people than just mum and dad, brother and hold on, family, hold on. which is your family here. As in Brazil, your extended family is your family. So that is a lot oh, okay. more people okay. than just mum and dad, brother and sister. Over okay, that, that is, that is verdade. Muito verdade. <laughs> Your extended family is your family. I have never known any different and I still consider all my uncles and aunties my family. I have, I think, 12 or 13 of them. Yeah, I've got a lot of uncles and aunties. And the last big cultural difference Holy is moly. when it comes to the most important thing that you teach children in both of these countries. And obviously this is very personal. One word that describes Brazilian and British and children. What your experience and your thoughts on this is. So in Brazil, I think the most important thing that children are taught is respect for, you know, for others, for respect. all the people, for your family members. Respect, do mamacita. respect is really <laughs> big in Brazil, especially in a family environment. And I think here in the UK, obviously, you're taught respect as well as part of a set of values that you're taught. But I think the value that you're taught the most here when you're old enough or even from a very young age Drum is roll. independence. Uh, independence! And there's a lot of focus put, put uh, on children being able to settle that's, themselves. That, please pause. That is true. That I guess that is true. Independence, that is true. Uh, I would say respect is like a big thing that gets taught here as well, though. At least they try. I mean, children here seem to be crazy, but respect. I I, I guess independence. Yes. Uh, yes. To sleep. I to, guess that is you know, important, bro. Themselves, get themselves dressed to yeah. leave the house true. early and go and live that somewhere is true, else actually. outside of the home. As in Brazil, people stay with their parents. They live at home until they get married. The, yeah. There's no yeah. pressure. There's independence is actually very like it's like quickly move on do it yourself bitch um that is true yeah 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 no rush to move out of the house so i think these two i i would say these two words would kind of differentiate the two cultures and to that would define these cultures for me i think brazilians would be respect brazilian children as i'm talking about respect and British children would be independent. That, yeah, definitely so independence here, bro. Agree with me if you definitely if you think that there are better words to describe hundred thousand billion also, trillion tell percent. Tell me which word would you would you use to describe your own culture or the country that you live in? So that is it. I hope that's the end of the video. There we go, and that was actually a very very interesting video. One of the most interesting videos ever, actually. I would say to actually hear these differences between 
British parenting and Brazilian parenting, and there were literally everything was different. There was so many differences, bro. Um, I mean, about how, the times you go to school, the times you wake up, the times you go to bed, um, everything really. Everything was really, really different. Muito, muito interessante. But yo, let me know what you guys thought about this down below. And uh, yeah, if you like more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And ciao. Are you satisfied?